Welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Today we are at Alan's parents' farm to watch Alan's dad work with his draft horses. The older team will be pulling a round bale out to their feeder, and after that, Leonard will show what he uses to keep the horses from pulling all the hay out of the feeder. It's mainly stub. After that, we come along to see how Prince, Leonard's Pertron Stallion, is doing with his training. We hope you enjoy the video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Hey, Prince. Hi, Prince. Hi. Yes, you're so sweet. I'm over here. Did you say kind of hot? Yes. <laughs> well, I think this will read you above any day. <laughs> Well, he's 23 this year. 23. Oh, I, I aged you, Stub. I said you were 26. No, no, no. That's it. That's the whole stone it would be. You know, I don't know if it's, uh, I'm taking wood off the pile and it's like three years old, but it's not hardly burning any at all. Really? I'll put it, fill it in the evening, like this morning, you know, it was too low. Yeah. I'll put a couple sticks in, that'll last till tonight. Wow. Yeah, and he's, I don't know if it's just because it's that much drier. Because it's just popple. You would think that that would just burn up like, but like a match stick. that Back 40 Woodsman or whatever it is. He's from down by where he used to live. Oh, yeah. And, uh, he was saying with these airtight stoves, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Because when they shut off, they shut off. Yeah. Anyway, that's what he was saying. It really got, I don't know, it's... I'm not burning hard any wood at all. I mean, you know, it's a That's mandatory right there. That's an everyday deal. <laughs> Well, she's going to find out. <laughs> I think the disease stays up and surprises her. She's smart. I think if a guy was into training for tricks, you could get her to teach her to do anything. Yeah. She's smart. Alright, right, this is my snow plow that I use when we get heavy snow. Like after heavy snow, this is what I use to open the trails up. It plows it out, it doesn't really pack it, but it plows it out, fills in the holes. Works really good. For like your trails out in the woods? Yeah, like any of them after that heavy snow. This is what I pull behind. And it widens the trails out. I think I gotta put a board across here though, because the tires wanna come back together on the back side. To keep it wider, I think I'm gonna put a board across the back. But it works really good. These are actually the first way we ever moved big bales when we got when we started with big bales. They uh, our loose hay forks. There was a set of four of them, they used to stick them in the loose haystacks to pull it up in the barn. And uh They've been laying outside and every time I think about using them other years they've been frozen in the ground so then I have to use a chain and actually these work way better than having to wrap a chain around. 
Did you figure that out on your own, or did someone show you how to do that? Or? I was, it was back in me and Donald when Donald was farming, and we had big bales, and I don't know how we started it, but... Someone just thought, oh, I bet that would work really good? Yeah. So it actually, uh, way easier than putting a chain around them, and especially in the deep snow like we have now. Oh, she knows when that's in there. Oh, they pull out a lot easier than they would. Oh. I thought they'd pull out a lot harder. It's funny, like you said, when they were, like they can tell there's gonna be a heavy pull, like they get all psyched up. 
Especially her. Stubbs has been through so many of them, he doesn't care anymore. But he knows. So is this just for the horses or are those cows out here too? No, this is that second crop grass I'm giving to the horses. The other stuff made it a little bit damp. Some bales are good and some are a little dusty, so the cows get that. And All right, step up. Step up. Oh, easy peasy. I opened the bale up so that the horses don't have to fight through that crap because they got got that chain to contend with. What yeah. I did is I bought a hundred feet, a hundred foot roll of chain, and cut it into eighty inch pieces. Made a grid out of it. I hooked it together with just zip strips, just the regular ones, and they started to break now. So I put heavy duty ones in there now. But I should look like this time I don't have to replace any. And your main purpose for this chain was just to keep them from throwing hay out. Yep, that stub likes to throw hay out. I don't care how much they eat as long as they don't waste it. Gotta kind of get it centered a little bit. It's kind of, like I say, it takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it. I tie it down on the four corners and then one in between each corner. And so there's eight places to tie it down. Yeah, there it is. Like I said, just enough to keep Stubb from digging his head into the bale and just throwing it all right back out onto the ground. We're good. impressive that he's not going in his stall. The train to move not to move till that bridle comes off. Oh, okay. I, I, I never leave him in the stall with the bridle on. I should weigh him again. It's been probably two months since I weighed him last. So when did you start kind of harnessing him and, and putting him with stub? I don't know. Before Christmas. So you're just, just driving, just pulling that sleigh around, just something easy like that? Yeah. or he's only 16 months, but you know, when we, we used to raise colts, little colt, the ones we were going to keep, they were already at this age, they were teamed up doing light chores. Oh, really? We had a little half of a bobsled, or the front runners of a bobsled made into a sleigh, and they'd haul a few bales of hay here, or a couple bucks to feed there, and they just... Got harnessed every day for chores. And uh, 
Well, the ones we were going to keep, we always had them line driving before they were even weaned. We put a saddle on them, run the lines through the stirrups, and we'd line drive them before they were weaned even. And then by the time they got to be this age, well, we fed a lot of square bales then, and take two, three square bales or whatever up to the woods, and all a little firewood. And So how is Prince's personality to compared to other ones? Do you like it or? Yeah, he's not as good as Queen was. <laughs> that would have been his half sister? Well, from the same near family, but probably three quarter uh, quarter sister probably. Even the same mare family, but well, stallions. Girls are always smarter. <laughs> ooh, ooh. That's why I keep them tied back to his hand because he's gonna move stuff. Ooh, cool. I hadn't harnessed him for a couple months, and the first time I took the harness in there, he about climbed all over me, which I thought was kind of strange. Oh, cool. Queen would have never done She was like perfect. Fourth time on the sleigh. He was on a wagon once before the snow came. Very cool. Very cool. Even. Oh, it's even? Okay. Ooh. 
There's not much of a load. Just enough for him. How old do you like them to be before you have to start doing more? Or does that depend on like how they're doing overall? Yeah, it depends on how they're doing. You know, it's, a lot of people don't like to break them. We started pulling stub when he was three. We were going to contests with him when he was three only. And, and look at him, he's 23 years old and he's still fit as a fiddle. Notice how calmer, how calmer he is driving alongside the colt than he is that mare? Yeah, he's not trying to keep up with her. Bossy, they're telling him the pace. <laughs> you know, it's funny because she's so timid in the past. He rides up nicely, I think. Or like next summer, if I got like a partial load of manure or something, he can haul. Yeah, there's two, three wheelbarrows load of manure or a manure in the spreader. He can haul that. I wouldn't put him on the rake all day. thing where they kind of pick a pace that's easy for them or like kind of like that mare how she's really go 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 it's you know, just a I personality thing i think it's a personality thing like debbie said i hope everything works out with him i'm gonna spend money to buy a mate for him next year because i don't want to start a colt again yep on the downward slide towards 70. <laughs> but he's going so good you gotta get a close up of his face, how gray he's getting around his eyes and stuff. Yeah, I noticed that when I was petting him. You know, I didn't think he'd get changed color over the winter. I thought in the spring you really notice it, but you really notice it now. He's around his eyes and stuff, he gets gray and he's getting white hairs in his mane and tail now, too. You know, for all the snow it got, you don't see many snow wheelers. Well, a lot of it, there's so many trails that are still closed. Because yeah. I know there's a bunch of the snowmobile clubs that are asking for help opening up trails. But you know, we never had trails, and we used to snowmobile all the time. Yeah. We used to go like through the woods and make our own. Yeah, there was a vintage ride today at Docks. Oh, I thought I got some Jordan. I didn't even mention Jordan. We thought about it, but like Alan said, we were spending so much time here trying to get these roofs cleaned off and get snow moved. I was out busting trails yesterday and last night I got off and the snow was about that deep. About a good probably 30 inches out there yeah. in the woods. And you know it's funny, you take him out there, you take the team out there, and you pull that, and that thing pulls pretty hard in that deep snow, that those tires. And you get back and he's not even puffing. She's puffing a little bit, but he's not even puffing. Like amazing how hard they get, you know, how tough they can get. Because I mean, it was fresh snow and that new snow was almost knee deep to them. Yep. So did they learn a lot from the other horse? Just kind of how... I don't know. I mean, like Jim said, you teach them a lot by themselves. Yeah. I mean, you can take a horse and drive a single and drive with a team with about anybody, but sometimes you can't take a horse that's been driven in a team all his life and drive him single. Ever. See, 
you prefer to break them single and then put them to a team? Yeah, it's way better. I mean, especially if you start them when they're young so they're not big and strong. See, if he was a five-year-old that weighed a ton, well, I wouldn't want to attempt to break him by myself. Yeah. I mean, I might in the corral or something, but... So when they're really big, that the other horse is almost just the muscle to stop the other one stop if you had to. Turn them, whatever. Yeah. That makes sense. And then if you run a buck back strap on him, Vernon Young taught me that. Put that buck back strap on him because he had a, he see a lot of bad horses in the break and he had a big horse. And he ran a buck back strap on him. He said he hauled a whole load of manure in two feet of snow but just with his nose. But he said he never got away. Huh. walks along so easy and nice. Yeah, he seems real calm, easy going. You know, and things don't scare him. I had a hen pheasant get up out of that fence row or that brush the other day. And he never, he just kind of looked at her as she flew away. And that, no more today, we're sitting right over here. That about all you do with them then? I usually hunt by myself on like two or three trips. Or oh, I'll okay. drive out to the hay feeder and go around the hay feeder a couple times. That's enough. You try to do that every day or every other day? I do it every day with the snow. I plow snow and whatever. Yeah. Something people don't realize is that a big part of working is standing. Patience, something the mare doesn't have. Oh yeah, here you can really see the gray. Yeah, and around his eyes. Right there. You see it now. I think when he sheds out, he's gonna should take. I should take a picture of him on his first birthday and every birthday. Oh yeah, that would be neat. Take a picture of him as he grays. He's gonna be so pretty. Unless he's that real. Get that real ugly gray, kind of that flea bitten. Oh, I don't think so. I hope not. The stuff is stony a lot of times I walk out and I have to stop and go hook the line. Put them on the wrong hook. Collar started more colts than I. <laughs> <laughs> He's had a colts for 
40 years. Heading right for his lunch.